Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my video blog series. I'm your host Nick Renard and today we will be talking about dimensional reporting within Google AdWords. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, there are four reports I'm going to be going over with you today. The first one is called the Day of the Week Report, which is going to analyze the performance of your campaigns based on the day of the week. The second one is going to be called the Hour of Day Report, which is similar in that it just analyzes the performance of your campaigns based on the hour of the day. The third one is called a Mobile Report, which is going to compare the uh, desktop traffic that you receive compared to things like mobile or tablet or anything else. So it compares it based on the uh, device that people are coming from. And the last one is a geographic report, which is going to look at the performance based on the uh, most of the clients that we have are within the United States. So it's going to uh, look at it based on the uh, the country or state or city that you're advertising in. And yeah, uh, there's a final note at the bottom here. All these types of reports are viewable in both AdWords and Analytics, so if you prefer one platform or the other, that's totally fine. Uh, I usually prefer to use Analytics just because the data is more accurate within Analytics and uh, it's more customizable, but if you feel more uh, comfortable with AdWords, then you know that's fine too. So. All right, we'll start with the hour of the day and the day of the week reports. I'm going to combine these because you can actually find these within the same tab within AdWords. So if you start off here, I have all the steps that you need to do laid out here. Number one, always check your date range. Make sure you're looking at the appropriate uh, portion of data. With all of these reports, you're, you're, you generally don't want to review these reports over a, a short uh, time frame and by short I mean like I mean even like 30 days is gonna be relatively short it's gonna be dependent on how much you spend but if uh, I generally look at these reports every two months for my clients so if you're running a campaign or you're uh, running campaigns for other people uh, two months is generally a good rough estimate however if you spend a lot more you could review them monthly or if you're not spending that much at all maybe you're only spending like a thousand a month or something like that uh, you may want to review this you know every four months or so the reason we do that is because the uh, the data isn't going to be statistically significant if we aren't looking at you know, a, a large enough quantity of data. Uh, it takes a while to to get this kind of data. So if you're looking at like a seven day period, then the patterns that you are seeing may not uh, they may not translate to uh, uh, you know the future months or uh, yeah, you get what I'm saying. All right, second step here. At the top here, you have your set of tabs starting with campaigns. If you go all the way over to the dimensions tab and click that. There is a drop down box that says view. You're going to want to click that and go down to time. And the two reports are going to be under this time drop down box. You can see day of the week, hour of day. Uh, click either one of those. And we're going to go ahead and start with the day of the week report, which looks exactly like this. So you can see here it says make sure you have statistically significant data. I'm pointing to the number of clicks here because that's going to tell you whether or not it's going to give you a good idea whether or not you have statistically significant data. Uh, this, what you're looking at here, is seeing this many thousands of clicks. This would de definitely be st uh, statistically significant. Uh, if you're wondering where that kind of breakpoint is, I would want to see at least like a hundred clicks or so on each one of these uh, in order to. Uh, you know be able to take these reports seriously so if you look up this report over the last two months and you only have like maybe like 70 clicks or you know maybe even like some of the days have like 100 clicks and others you know have less than 100 uh, it's it's one of those things where the more more is better so if you have 200 clicks that's gonna be more statistically significant than 100 clicks and so on and so forth so this report is definitely statistically significant and what we're looking for within this report is uh, the conversion data uh, we're, we're going to be very conversion focused because that is what uh, what determines the success of your campaign because that's what we're trying to do is generate leads for you know from from these campaigns for whatever company is running the uh, the AdWords campaign so we look at the uh, the cost per conversion, and we also look at conversion rates. And also, uh, a side note here: if you've if you've 
added conversion values to your campaigns. So if, let's say you have like multiple conversion types, like you have phone calls and form submissions and you know whatever else. Uh, it, you can assign values to those leads. If you do have conversion values set up, then I highly recommend you also add the columns that uh, revolve around conversion values. You know, conversion value divided by cost or total conversion value. You can look at those as well. Uh, but uh, cost or conversion, conversion rate are going to be pretty good. And you can see in this example here that weekdays actually perform a lot better than the weekends. You can see that they have a lower cost for conversion, lower is better, and the conversion rate is also almost double that of the weekend, sometimes more than double. So in this situation, if we were to look at the past three months worth of data and see a pattern like this, this would tell us that we want to be decreasing bids on the weekends and increasing bids on the weekdays so that way we can kind of uh, reallocate some of those funds from the weekends where we're not getting as as many conversions to uh, the days that are performing better All right. next report here the hour of the day report this one's gonna be much bigger and since this data is gonna be spread over 24 hours throughout the day you can see you can see here uh, hours 1 through 24 uh, and with the day of the week report you have it spread across seven days so it's gonna take more data for you to have a statistically significant hour of the day report since it's more spread out so just keep that in mind uh, so again, make sure you have statistically significant data by looking at your number of clicks. Make sure you have you know one or two hundred in there uh, on each one of these. And then again, look for patterns in performance. One thing to keep in mind is when you look up these reports, um, you want to be careful not to overanalyze them too much. I, I, in order for me to actually make changes in an account, uh, I want there to be a pretty glaring, uh, obvious. Um, pattern throughout the day. So in the last one, we in the one before this, I'll go back to it, we see that the weekends are just obviously worse than the weekdays. That's, that's, I would definitely make a change based off of this, but you will see reports where you'll see like, um, you know, one hour has a great conversion rate, maybe like 4 a.m. is great, and then 5 a.m. is bad, and then 6 a.m. is kind of medium, and then 7 a.m. is great, and it just kind of uh, flip-flops over and over. If you're not seeing any consistent pattern, like a chunk of time where it's like, okay, uh, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. is just fantastic. If you see a, if you see a block like that, then go ahead and um, add bid modifiers during the, those hours uh, in your ad scheduling. But if if it's if it's too spread out and too sporadic, then may, there's a couple things. One, maybe there isn't a pattern. You don't need to make a change. Or two, uh, maybe you need to wait and look at a longer time period because if you um, if those if those clicks that you're looking at are too spread out, then again goes back to that whole statistical significance thing. It's going to be the the, the uh, buzzword of the day for, the, for for this video here is statistical significance. So you can see in this one here that um, as it gets later in the night, so more around like 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. Um, or even late, like 11 p.m., uh, the conversion rates are much lower. And then as we get to the, the core of the day, you know, between like probably around 9 to 5 or so, uh, you can see the conversion rates shoot up pretty drastically. So this is a situation where I would definitely create some uh, some ad scheduling to emphasize the bids during these peak hours and try to de-emphasize some of the spend that we have during the off hours because you can see here that like really early in the morning they're spending thousands of dollars for conversion rates that aren't as good as the uh, the the, the um, during the day sorry I'm fumbling on my words there so yeah you get that pattern I'll go ahead and move on to the next report here all right, next here is going to be the geographic report. Now we're going to move over from AdWords to Analytics. So in Analytics, it's going to be almost the exact same process. It's just the uh, the buttons are going to be a little bit different. So in Analytics, again, start by setting your appropriate date range at the top. So you can see here, looking at three months worth of data, which is a good chunk of time to look at. Uh, one thing you'll want to make sure in analytics is uh, analytics tracks the traffic from all sources. So that's organic, that's direct, that's paid, that's uh, referral, that's everything. So if if we're only interested in the in the data from paid traffic, then make sure you set up a segment uh, to only be looking at the paid traffic. You can see we have a segment here for AdWords paid traffic. 
and then the uh, the last step here is going to be click on the audience section over here on the left and then click geo and then click location and it's gonna bring you to this next screen here once you click those three um, <clears throat> it'll actually start by this is actually three different screenshots merged into one this top part here that says country up in the top left is what it will start with it'll start at the most uh, zoomed out version so it'll start in this case we're looking at uh, by country this this client only advertises in the United States and Canada so that's only where they're going to see traffic but the cool thing about analytics is we can actually drill down on those countries and look at you know the particular states and then we can drill down on those states and look at cities so you may be thinking that or, you, or maybe you were thinking that uh, it, let's say you only advertise in like Southern California or something like that uh, this report is still relevant to you because you can drill down to see like if Los Angeles or San Francisco or San Diego you can see how each one of those cities is performing and adjust bids based off of that data so yeah uh, the, another note here kinda of like setting your date range there's gonna be a little conversions tab right here make sure that you're looking at the right conversion um, a lot of times people set up goals within analytics for things like remarketing lists and whatnot so make sure you're looking at the uh, the conversions that are actually relevant to you and so that way you're not you know reviewing the wrong data and again it's gonna be the same process we're gonna be looking for patterns and performance so if we drill down on the United States here and we see that the conversion rate in uh, California is drastically better or worse than uh, Georgia or whatever usually actually what I usually do is if if we're gonna organize it by state uh, I'll, I'll download this report into an Excel file and uh, and then what I'll do is I'll organize the data based on uh, highest to lowest conversion rates and I'll take the uh, kind of maybe like the top 20 or 30 percent uh, conversion rates the, the the best conversion rates and highest conversion rates and I'll add a positive bid modifier to those and then I'll take like the bottom 20 to 30 percent and I'll add a negative modifier for those so that way you're you're reallocating the spend from the underperforming states uh, to the states that are performing better for you so that's kind of a, a way to do it you can also um, you can also organize when you download these reports into Excel I also like it because you can organize it by these other columns here uh, you can you know user acquisition uh, user engagement uh, bounce rates pages per session stuff like that so you can really uh, look down at a very very granular level as to how interested these users are so if we see something like you know there's a handful let's say we organize it by like a bounce rate and we see that there's a set of states where the bounce rate is really really high like 90 percent or something like that uh, we regardless of the uh, of the conversion data we can actually add bid modifiers to the account simply because you know 90 percent of the traffic is bouncing that's not that's not so great so yeah there's there's more that we can look at than just conversion data in these reports but again conversion data is going to be uh, you know the the most uh, most important one because that's the one that determines performance for us alright and then the last one we have here is the mobile report again same process set your date range in the top right make sure you're looking at the proper segment You'll want to click audience just like you did with the uh, the geographic report, but instead of going to geo, you're going to go to mobile, and then go to overview. And this report is actually a lot simpler because it just breaks it down into three sections for you: desktop, mobile, and tablet. And you actually can't. Uh, you, well, I don't know if you can yet. Last time I checked, you weren't able to adjust the uh, the bids for tablet. So the only thing that you can actually adjust bids for uh, within AdWords is either uh, mobile or desktop so those are the two we're going to be interested in so you can see here again set your conversion and you can see here that the uh, the conversion rate on desktop within this particular campaign is 2.75 percent where the conversion rate on mobile is 3.36 percent so again if you see if you see a pretty big gap like that uh, between conversion rates and that's actually pretty pretty big um, two point going from 2.75 to 3.36 is pretty big um, you know it's less than one percent so that looking at it that way sounds little but if you think about it uh, how much of a percentage increase that is um, 
yeah, I mean that that can make a pretty big difference. So if I if I were to see data like this, I would definitely uh, increase the bids on my mobile and decrease the bids on my desktop. Again, reallocating spend from the underperformers underperformers to the campaigns that are performing well. Well, in this case, it would be uh, based on the uh, <laughs> the device, but yeah, you get the idea. All right, so for for all of these reports, the the process is going to be pretty much the exact same. You just need to know where to click within these uh, these platforms, whether it's AdWords or Analytics, or if you're using, I'm sure they have them on other platforms like Amazon as well. Um, again, make sure you're looking at the proper date range. Make sure you're looking at a relatively large date range. Two months or more is, is kind of the rule of thumb. Uh, check to make sure that you're looking at the proper goals and goal complete or uh, conversions and goal completions. Uh, you don't, you want to make sure that if you if you set up a goal for like you know people who didn't bounce off the website that you're not like merging that data with your phone calls uh, because it's gonna make it look way inflated or deflated. And if you're using analytics, make sure you're looking at the correct segment. A lot of people, this is kind of a rookie mistake. And I mean, I honestly, I even make this mistake from time to time where I start doing a report and then realize that I'm not using the right segment and have to, you know, go back and redo everything. Uh, so make sure you just do that in the beginning uh, so that you're filtering the traffic that's relevant to what you want to look at, probably paid. Uh, check. Uh, the statistical significance uh, you want to be looking at clicks or if you're in uh, analytics sessions uh, to make sure that you have enough data so that way you're not looking at a bunch of percentages and uh, you know it's it's only based off of like 14 people who visited the site because that's not going to be enough people to determine whether or not that pattern is going to continue over a long period of time and then lastly uh, look at the look for patterns in performance and adjust with bid modifiers based on that performance so if there's good performance you want to increase your bids and if there's bad for performance you want to decrease your bids it, it seems obvious but a lot of people would just you know do one or, uh, I could see a lot of people doing just one or the other you want to make sure you kind of do both because if you only increase your bids uh, it's gonna it's going to jack up your impression share and your cost per click. So you want to make sure you do a little bit of both so that way the spend balances from the underperformers to uh, the good performers. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and happy advertising and I will see you guys in my next blog.